Yo, what is up, guys? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you probably my best Black Ops 2 gameplay to date. It is a 56 kills to 2 deaths gameplay on the map raid in 6v6 domination. And oh boy, am I just jumping on the objective. I love playing the objective in Black Ops 2. It's a great way to get closer to your score streaks because right now, what Black Ops 2 is about for me is the score streaks. There's so many different score streaks, so many different maps you can use them on, and just have a total, a lot of fun in this game. Black Ops 2, I'm loving it. If I could fix one thing in Black Ops, to the only thing I would fix would be the servers all the guns are even they're great guns and beside the gun the setup I'm using for this beast gameplay which it is a 56 and 2 triple load star the load star in my mind is a little bit like a Moab but I'd say it's not as high as the Moab the load star is just like the Reaper from Modern Warfare 3 but of course the load star is a little bit harder to get from the Reaper because the Reaper was only a nine point streak in Modern Warfare 3 and in this I believe it's a 1400 score streak but I believe this is better than the VTOL warship better than the canine unit better than the swarm I just think I I get about 15 to 20 kills in each of these load stars and I do speed up the load stars so you guys don't get bored but a key part in this gameplay was right there I saw two enemies and I had to make a split second decision and decide what to do I made the better decision by shooting the enemy who's aiming at me that is something that you have to get set in your mind. You have to play Call of Duty a lot to do well at it. And also the kill streaks that I'm running actually help me a lot in this game. I'm running the UAV, the Orbital VSAT, and a Load Star, of course. Right there, I pick up my first Load Star and I speed it up. But back to the other kill streaks, including the UAV and the Orbital VSAT. The Orbital VSAT is just like the Blackbird from Black Ops One, and the UAV everybody knows. Everybody knows it as the, the spy plane from Black Ops, the UAV from Modern Warfare Three. Everything. It's been in every Call of Duty. I think it should stay in every Call of Duty. In my opinion, it's probably the best kill streak Call of Duty's ever brought into any single one of them because the whole main goal to killing the enemy, because that's the whole goal usually, and winning the game, because I love winning the game. Most people actually ignore the objective nowadays, but I'm not one of those players. You can see me hopping on the objective the whole game. I was capping flags. When we, when we needed to cap flags, I was capping flags. And I was also playing with, I believe, three or four friends from school. You know, it's, this game is about having fun. Call of Duty is definitely oriented towards having fun with your friends. And the way I have fun with my friends is I play Call of Duty with them and we definitely go in there and we try and own up some other players and just have a blast but right there the round switched and we switched sides which I didn't think we could go back and get the other objective because when the round switches we lose all the objectives everybody loses the objective it's just like we're starting over from the game except we keep the same score we keep whatever kill streaks we kept over for the next round and I decided to keep over my orbital VSAT because I would have only got to call it in for like six or seven seconds and we never want to do that you have to pay attention when you're calling in your orbital VSAT and I get my second load star right here and I just go ham on these guys. This kill streak is so good in my opinion. Definitely set it on if you know you can get it. I knew I could probably get it this round, so I definitely put it on. And I got it three times. I got it three times on these guys. These enemies definitely were not the best. But the way I did this was I wasn't just rushing in the spawn. I wasn't just trying to go ham. I didn't think I could outgun everybody. And you see all the best players in the world. I'm definitely not the best player in the world or anywhere near it. But you see them and they, they don't get into every gunfight thinking they, they can win every single one. They don't think they can outgun every single person in the world. They know when they've lost a gun battle. And you can see me doing that quite a bit. Maybe even right here in a little bit. You can see me seeing that I out, I didn't win that gun battle and I back up and I actually don't end up dying. And then the other person rushes around the corner thinking that they can outgun me when I've got the advantage on them and I take them out and I kill them and I get close to my score streaks and getting score streaks is a lot of fun again another key point right here is four enemies spawn and I shouldn't have st started to shoot them after I should have picked off that one guy and then left but again right here I'm hopping on the objective getting close to my score streaks getting my score up getting helping my team we're getting close to the victory right here in this gameplay guys but I was taking out these enemies this gun is so good definitely slap on the PDW if you're looking to do well call on my orbital visa wait a little bit to have the enemies come to me I don't want to rush in their spawn when I'm getting so close to a score streak that I end up dying and then I end up raging and then I ended up ripping my PS3 in half and nobody wants to go out and spend another $300 on a PS3 and right there is the first time the dolphin dive has ever helped me in any Call of Duty normally all the time it just messes me up whenever I try and drop shot right there I get taken out that was kind of a stupid move by me running out and seeing the enemy right there and just thinking I could outgun him again I wasn't focusing the whole time on the game in this gameplay but if we could try and hit 100 likes on this video that would be insane we did it last time I shot for 75 but if we could try to hit 100 on my best Black Ops 2 gameplay yet today, that would be absolutely amazing. You guys are the best subscribers in the world. It's been Quad MFT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.